Welcome back, guys, to another Back to the Future Telltale series. Um, we're going to get back into it. Uh, Doc, where are you? He's pulling up now. He just got done with his, his three-way with Cleopatra and Amelia Earhart. Reference. Do you know where it's from? Let me know. Comment section. Is that frozen? Doc? Doc's legacy. Watch me there. Quick. Seen a car show? Come on. Einstein! Hey, this is Einstein. Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Black eyes. Eyes straight from hell. Shield eyes from light. Okay, flux capacitor. Let's see what we got. We got. Looks circuit like the time, time switch. circuit still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. He said it's so calm. Marty? Ah. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, remember the Orient's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to mm -hmm. return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. And despite my yeah. own cautions, there's always a possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. Trips. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or it wasn't the future. Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or okay. forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to That's a pretty important question. Find all the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, Doc, Shoot. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Yeah. Once I know when to look for Doc. Once I know when to look for Doc. C C C. You don't say. Okay, let's use the notebook then. He'll probably tell us. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Okay, okay. Picture of George McFly, Doc's notebook. This notebook has all of Doc's item. plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. This time traveling shoe. shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Alright, well. Nah. <laughs> nah. Wait, wait. No, examine I take that this picture. picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. All right, that's pretty okay. It's kind of um, kind of calling your dad a loser there, but all right, it's, that's cool. It's cool. Okay, a high heel shoe in the DeLorean. Something smells fishy here. Okay. I'm glad I didn't have to stay in the car then. Yeah, text. Okay, yes, yeah, Lorian. What kind of trouble Find is Doc in, Einy? It's helpful. Okay. What do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Let's get it. Let's 
So far, it's not what I thought it was. They're pulling out all the references. Okay, now we're reference. getting somewhere. I hope this thing comes off, though. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? It's one and shoe, dude. Kind of piece those together, yeah? There's this liquor. I liquor see store. you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! I see you. Ooh, old hag. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc oh, have pretty, invented a oh, dog oh, okay. translator? Oh, <laughs> just about to say. Oh, it's really comprehensible. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's stuck in a well. Step away from the door. Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected, hooligans. Hooligans. <laughs> I'm no hooligan. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Yeah, okay. I've got you something for in. you. I'm a big solid. No, it's fine. What is it? Let me see. No, I'm done. I'm not. No, that's, that's. No, that was terrible. I don't how how think can so. I show her? Show her the shoe. Edna. A shoe? Now, what would I Edna mode a... huh? and guest. Stay there. See, so now she just remembered. I only get one nigga in my shoe. Brown, do you know Doc? <laughs> she really stopped. Like, what are you doing? I'm just standing here. Move along. It's a dog. Sorry, Einstein. <laughs> I said, really, like, this bit. Okay. Don't worry, Einstein. She, her, she probably smells a lot worse than you do. She's a dog. She's the, she, she's the creature. Well, took you long enough. She, of course, um, she's spinning the shit like some villain. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. Okay, Edna. Put All it right. down next to the other one. Much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. <laughs> no, I... This entire All time. I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I tried no, don't not to talk. jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Thanks for the... Look it up. Thanks for the, uh... <laughs> Thanks for the fact. Can I talk to you? Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. No, apparently not. Hey, you kids! Put out those cigarettes! How has nobody, like, called a disturbance on this woman? <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. No way. That's the reference. That's the guy that's like, you look like a slacker. Type the bald dude. But she I really had the that other shoe. shoe. In the past. But when in the past? Ask her and it will go. I can't leave now. Miss Strickland's my only hope of finding Doc. Hold on. Hold on. But she really had that shoe for her. I'm gonna guess it's from the 50s, so and it's the 80s. She had it for 30 years, stressing on her OCD about not having the other sh the other pair, just leaving it by the door. I can't imagine that. Uh, how Miss Strickland, that could how be. about your tea? I cannot I imagine. Got to turn on the. It's spelled with a U. You illiterate vandal. <laughs> what a charming woman. 
Man, she keeps it hot in here. So you turn it off? You're in there with the damn vest. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Hands on her hips. Look at you. Oh, because you ain't got nothing to really... I mean, she kind of did that kick a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's gross, though. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. They're really pumping out every reference to the movies, man. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Where's the tea? Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. Just like his father. Out-of-control hedonist? There's a clue to find a doc out there. I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. My dude, uh, we're gonna ask her. Where she? Ask. I know what you're doing behind that tree. Give him some yes. space. Damn. Let them to their business. Do you remember when you, when you shoe? lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. <laughs> What a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But oh, fine. Let me think about it. Uh, yes, you really I remember. With your pencil -thin I eyebrows. lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh yes, the day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? We're going back to the twenties, Valley. Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral I'm, I'm morality, starting to run out of patience you know. with this woman. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Yeah. Okay. Um, keep you from thank you. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Can we leave? Do we have the information we need? Search with Doc's whenabouts. What are these? Okay. The editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Sure. Okay. All right. Cat bowls. Where are the oh, kitty cats? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Your cat's almost dead, probably. That's terrible. Newspapers. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. She all over the place Excuse with her me, insults, Mr. man. Strickland? Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers must like my grandma wild. said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Okay. So where was it? Where was it, speakeasy? That speakeasy that burnt down. I need time. I need time. Ages ago. If you're that is not time. Bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious. That's all. I'm a. Uh, she really about to like hand it to me too. She's like, if you're looking for that good stuff. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, your yeah, generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe figs about history, Miss Strickland. Oh, video store. Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. That the disgusting video videotape must have store? gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Following <sighs> year, as I recall. That's. It's a video store. What you that problem? Don't All let right. me keep you from your business. Now, yeah, let's just dip because she's a grouchy old woman who needs to. 
I'm gonna stop. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But and I, I wonder why with your fake ass kids. Tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. So I'm stuck here with her. She really she wanna she want me here to 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 insult and whatnot. What kind of game are you trying to play? Alright, let's get it. Let's try to let's let's try to Oh! I know what to do. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. So, <laughs> there she goes, and I gotta dip. I just gotta run now. I run out the door. Go, 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 Marty, go. Let's, let's dip. I guess I'm get out the door. The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. Oh my god. Alright, well, what have I missed then? What have I not touched? Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. No. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy yes. burned down. Yes. But when did the speakeasy yes. burn down? I at least need to know the year. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Cause you didn't turn on the fire. Miss Strickland? You fool! Doing some star Nice binoculars. Oh, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Is that a, is that a penis? Get away from that before I call your father! Oh, please. Best gonna be like, have you sold it yet? Don't let me keep you from your business. Okay. Hold up. I right. walk this way, man. That tea's never Thank gonna you. boil. Yeah. So I have to use it to my advantage, right? Okay. Shoes looked at. That trophy thing looked at. Radiator makes her go away. Oh, the candy. candy looks older than I, I like am. candy. Welcome to taffy. Forget the rest of that song. All right, this is really starting to bother me. Okay, let's mess with the radiator again. Marshall Strickland. Maybe pull up. My grandfather, gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. <laughs> no, because you were there. Sorry, you were there. Okay. There's the whistle. Go to the Surely the water's boiling flux. by now. Here about the curious man, Marshall Strickland. She a racer now. She just she gets up and go. I'm gonna achievements left and right. Newspapers. Grab the right one this time. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Announces plans for Lone Pine Mall, Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Just keep looking. Clint Eastwood plunges to death. On runaway train. <laughs> I don't even know where to start what? looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. So we probably have to ask her about it then. Okay, let me let me let me play with the cat's food. <laughs> Evil cat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> oh that face look he looks so high. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? Uh, nothing. <laughs> That's what you get with these cheap, foreign-made kettles. But trying to find an American one nowadays... Racist. Racist. Trying to find the American ones, these made-in-China ones are just terrible. Racist. <laughs> Miss Strickland? I, I, don't, I don't really care about shit like that. What's okay, what's all these newspapers? 
This Talk to me about it. Come on. This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Right. Every single issue. Right. From 1871 right. to the present. 71. In Hill Valley, <laughs> you'll find it in my stacks. <laughs> Could those newspapers help me? Stacks. There must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. You're purposely going in circles, man. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. Wrote it myself? I was quite the reporter in my day, if <laughs> you know what I mean. I got my sources. I'm gonna pause it here. Uh, we'll be right back with this. If you like the video, please share a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Hopefully I'll find this damn newspaper, guys. If not, I'm gonna kill this old lady. See you guys later.